today. So did I sign everybody? Everybody's taking oh, that seat. Well, what was that? Good morning, good morning. Everyone's scheduled. Did I sign your schedule? No, not yet. Schedule? Then my how are you feeling? Sorry, it's just like a good Not taking math senior year is not an option, right, Viviana? She knows. She knows. Right. Okay, good deal. Well, I've been teaching here at the high school for 14 years. I'm in my 15th year right now. Um, and before that, I taught in Detroit and then Chicago, then. Um, Utah, and then two years in Costa Rica, so a total of 25 years, always teaching math and chemistry. Okay, so let's start where we left off. What example were we on? Get your notebooks out, and we'll get started there. Example seven? Okay. So eight, derivative of a secant x, nine, constant rule. Constant rule is taking a derivative of a constant. If you forget that one, draw a constant function. So just your slope field on a constant function. You have zeros, at negative seven and zero, and you have a max at negative four. So that's how I want you to draw the graph. This is the first derivative, okay? Okay, remember you're stating your f prime of x, and also state your second derivative too, okay? Then it's clear I know when you're on your original function. And remember that flashcard, that'll help you remember what you're reading and how we'll get back to our original function. Okay, so what I was doing in my calculus class was separation of variables um, so that they could undo a derivative. And that may sound really big and crazy, but what it is getting them ready for is figuring out volume of things that are not a regular geometrical shape. And so they're going to be using integration um, to actually um, compute um, all sorts of different shapes that they're going to be able to generate with different equations. The easiest slope to start with is which slope, everybody? Zero. Zero. Don't forget, start with your zero. That second derivative seems to be the hardest, so go slow there. Put your name up there. You're all doing it individually. That way I will see everybody's hand to stand next to each other. You can be wherever you want. Yeah, you can. <laughs> no, no, you're too close. <laughs> Good. Good. You got it. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Perfect. Good. Now just follow the beginning start. Well, I mean, truly, I think every student that's had her uh, would attest to this. Uh, she, she's the whole package. Uh, she is extremely knowledgeable in, in her subject matter, loves the subject, but most importantly is a great teacher. She communicates with kids, she is warm, she is embracing, and she really uh, takes on the task of teaching in a way that goes just beyond the classroom. And if it's above, this is concave. Yeah. 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 No, Positive wait, should be pointed to the back, so concave up is going to look like this. Mm -hmm. no, and then below the x-axis, we're going to be concave down. So you want to write your intervals. Yeah. 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 That's what I'm saying. The original function, we were one final. Right? The original function has been the first one. It's going to be concave down. Now, are all of our original graphs going to look a little different? Yeah. But are they all going to have max and mins at the right spot? And I'll have a change in concavity. Very good. Very good. Don't erase anything. Let me just make a quick left. Good. Are we getting more comfortable? Yeah. Hey, you're going to be doing these on your own yes. soon, so I want you to be. Oh. Good job. Um, I really enjoy her as a teacher because she really, she's really good at explaining things and she's very organized and for me, like, organization is really key because, like, when she's going over things and be everything being in order and knowing exactly what to do is really beneficial for my learning and other people I know. It helps them, like, I've been in other classes where, like, they're, they'll throw something at us and then they'll throw another thing at us and like I don't know where to go but her I know exactly where to go to if I need help in the notes I know exactly where to look if I need something specific for the homework and everything that's like on the tests or in the or in the homework like she went over it in class the day before so I'm never like stuck. Okay, 
Uh, mi maestra, la señora Trainer, es una maestra increíble. Yo la he tenido um, el año pasado y este año y también la voy a tener el próximo año y creo que ella ha aumentado uh, mi aprendizaje de español um, increíblemente. Con ella tengo, uh, me encanta el sujeto, ella es simplemente increíble. And it's asking you what amount of time it's going to take for it to double. Okay, there's our T. This is our unknown value right here. Everybody clear? This is what we're going to solve for. Okay, double though, what does that mean? Two times the, two times 34. Two times your 34. So you can actually just write that. Your amount that you're going to have over here is going to be two times 34. And that makes it a little bit nicer in terms of your algebra because it will simplify quickly. So the very first thing we need to move Everett is what? Um, you have to... I guess move the constants to both sides, then like take the natural log, right? Good, good. We can't take our natural log until we get our e that's raised to the power by itself. So we want to divide by the constant, which is a 34. Is that easy math? Yeah. Yeah. So remember, this is all back to your algebra 2 and your pre-calc. And now you have an e raised to a power. And your unknown is out here. Now, let's write down what the solution, the differential equation is. This says y, parenthesis raised to the, or parenthesis means fourth derivative, minus 16y equals zero. So that means we're going to sub in and that equation needs to be true. So let me make sure everyone's got it written correctly and back. Good, everybody in your notes, everybody good. So let's think logically here. The easiest thing to sub in for is what? Y. Do we already know our y? Yeah. Everett, what is it? Good, let's do that, okay? So I'm going to write y and still put a 4 there, minus 16, and I'm going to sub in what my y equals because it's given right there. Okay? Yes? Isn't the half-life formula usually in like a different form, the y equals c, the k t is in It is when you're doing physics, but you're going to actually have to do the algebra on your AP test to derive it. It was in the book. But you're, you're going to have to do it on the AP <coughs> test to derive it all the way. Um, so I've lived here in Half Moon Bay for 14 years and raised three children here. My youngest is a junior right now and two are in college. And this has just been a wonderful, wonderful place to raise children and to teach children because I think we have such a tight-knit community and we're all watching out for each other in a good, positive way. And I've really enjoyed it and wouldn't want to raise my kids anywhere else.